In a snowy medieval forest during a chilly winter, Valerie lives in Daggerhorn Village. She loves Peter, the woodcutter, but her parents, Césaire and Suzette, made a deal with rich blacksmith Adrian Lazar. They want Valerie to marry Lazar's son, Henry, hoping for a wealthy life supported by Lazar's money. Valerie and Peter want to escape together, but their getaway is interrupted by town sirens blaring news of the werewolf striking again. Investigating the victim, Lucy, Valerie's older sister, is found among haystacks. The town, terrified of the werewolf, makes monthly sacrifices and avoids the woods. Lucy, unaware of the danger, went there after learning about Valerie's engagement to Henry, whom Lucy loved. Adrian, Henry, Peter, Césaire, and the other men go into the woods to hunt the wolf in a mountain cave. Despite Henry's objections, the group splits, and Henry and his father get attacked. The rest succeed in beheading the wolf, but it also kills Adrian. When they return, they bring the head of a regular gray wolf, thinking it's the one causing trouble in the village. Valerie finds Suzette crying over Adrian's body and asks her what happened. Suzette confesses to having had an affair with Adrian, revealing that Lucy is both Henry's half-sister and Adrian's daughter. This revelation explains why Lucy couldn't be promised to Henry. Valerie also discovers that Césaire, her father, seems to be unaware of this secret. The townsfolk are ready to celebrate killing the wolf, but their plans are stopped by the arrival of a famous witch hunter, Father Solomon. He tells them they didn't kill the real wolf because it would have turned back into a human. Solomon shares his experience of killing a wolf, and its pot turned into his wife's hand. He also warns about a blood moon, saying anyone bitten during this time becomes a wolf. Despite the earlier warning, the townsfolk still decide to celebrate. However, the real wolf crashes the festivities, causing chaos and taking lives. Valerie and her friend Roxen find themselves trapped by the wolf as they try to reach the safety of the church. To Valerie's shock, she can understand the wolf, communicating with it through its deep brown human eyes. The wolf sees a connection, calling Valerie a killer like itself, and suggests they escape the village together, leaving Roxanne terrified. When they return to the village, it's revealed that one of Father Solomon's guards survived but got bitten by the wolf. Trying to prevent another werewolf threat, Father Solomon kills the guard. At night, Peter urges Valerie to run away, but she refuses. Valerie's mother, scratched by the wolf, is cared for by her grandmother. Valerie shares with her grandmother that the wolf spoke to her and spared her life. The next day, Henry tells Valerie that he saw her with Peter. He decides to end their engagement because he doesn't want to force her into marrying him. Father Solomon thinks Roxanne's autistic brother is linked to the wolf and arrests him due to his behavior during and after the attack. The brother faces torture for not revealing the wolf's identity. Roxanne tries bargaining with money but fails. Desperate, she discloses that Valerie can talk to the wolf. When Valerie confirms this, Solomon arrests her, planning to use her as bait. Peter and Henry decide to join forces to find the wolf and rescue Valerie. When Roxanne is taken to her brother, she discovers that he is already dead. Valerie's grandmother brings her bread and a knife in prison. Valerie says Lucy gave herself to the wolf when she learned about Valerie's engagement to Henry, but her grandmother denies it. Valerie's grandmother gives Henry biscuits to thank him for supporting Valerie. But then, she accuses Henry of being the wolf, claiming he killed Lucy in the woods. Henry recognizes her scent from the night his father was killed by the wolf and accuses her of being the real wolf. Césaire gets jailed to stop him from interfering with the plan to lure the wolf to Valerie. Valerie is masked and paraded through the village, tied in her grandmother's red cloak. Peter and Henry launch a rescue. As Henry frees Valerie, Peter sets fire to the tower where Father Solomon watches. Peter gets caught and put in the torture device. Solomon's men chase Valerie and Henry. Henry is shot with a crossbow. The wolf appears, attacking Solomon and biting off his hand. Valerie agrees to go away with the wolf to save the village, but the townsfolk shield her until the sun rises, forcing the wolf to flee. Since it's the blood moon, Father Solomon gets wolf bitten and cursed. He's executed by his vengeful chief guard, whose brother was bitten and killed by Solomon. Valerie dreams that her grandmother, who lives in a cabin near the village and has brown eyes like the wolf, is the wolf. She heads to her grandmother's house, stopping at the chapel and putting Father Solomon's severed hand in her basket. Henry tells her he's tracking the wolf and mentions Peter is missing. In the woods, Valerie finds Peter wearing a glove. Believing he's the wolf hiding a burned paw, she slashes him with a knife and runs to her grandmother's house. When Valerie gets to her grandmother's house, things seem odd. Her grandmother talks from behind curtains, 
and it's revealed the wolf is not Peter or Valerie's grandmother, but her father, Césaire. He steps out, admitting he killed his mother. Henry's comment about the wolf smell came from her late husband's clothes, suggesting he passed the wolf gift to Césaire. Césaire tells Valerie he wanted to leave the village for the city and pass on his wolf gift. Originally, he planned it for Lucy, but she couldn't understand him, revealing she wasn't his daughter. Realizing his wife had an affair, Césaire, enraged, killed Lucy. He then wounded Suzette and killed Adrian, suspecting him to be Suzette's lover. Césaire now wants Valerie to join him in continuing the wolf legacy. Being the son of a wolf, Césaire is more powerful than his father, and he believes Valerie, if she accepts the gift, will be even more powerful. As Césaire is about to bite Valerie, Peter arrives to rescue her. During the struggle, Césaire bites Peter. Valerie, in defense, kills Césaire by stabbing him with the silver nails from Solomon's hand. Aware that the town would condemn Valerie if they find out her father was the wolf, she and Peter fill Césaire with rocks and toss him into a nearby lake. Knowing he's cursed, Peter goes into the wilderness to learn control. Valerie promises to wait for him. Valerie decides to stay in her grandmother's house. In a voiceover, she shares that Suzette accepted her husband's absence. The townsfolk still lived in fear even though the wolf never returned, and Henry became a monster hunter. A couple of years later, while picking plants, Valerie hears a sound and sees the wolf, now Peter. They reunite, and the final shots show Valerie in the red cloak walking on a snow-capped mountain with Peter.